What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be changed up. So initially I was planning on doing the team uh, Mystic, not Mystic, Mystic, uh, what's the name? Where'd you go? I lost it. Team Valor won um, and opened that one up from Pogo and finished out those three as that's the last one we were needing. But as I was at Walmart browsing, I uh, went to the back to the toy section. Um, just kind of like to see what kind of ETBs they have back there because normally they all end up back there. Um, and I was kind of looking and as I was about to leave, I actually saw Lost Origin check limb blister packs. And this is the third time I've found them. So I found them initially with, what was it? Fusion Strike, I remember, if, no, 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 Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, and now the third one being Lost Origin. So we've actually had quite a lot of luck finding blister packs, check lane blister packs at Walmart early, early at least before it releases. Normally about two weeks is what it seems to be, which is nice. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm never going to complain about finding them early. So yeah, guys, this does have a lot of bangers in it. So we have the Trainer Gallery, which is phenomenal. It does have Radiant, I believe it's uh, Gardevoir, the Radiant, uh, let's see, the Hisuian Sneezer, and then it's Steelix. I'm personally looking for the Steelix, um, that's probably one that I'm going to be loading up as well. Let's see, and then also it does have the Alt Arts, um, and I've seen them, I'm pretty sure that anybody that watches Pokemon, plays Pokemon, not necessarily watches the TV, but you know, actively watches these videos for the TCG, has probably seen them. If they haven't seen them, or if you haven't seen them, what are you doing? So the Garantina Alt Art. That's pretty much the one that I'm pretty sure everybody and their grandma will be chasing. Next, at least for me, the next one in that line is the Art, uh, the Artodactyl, the Aerodactyl. Um, and actually, I might even put that one in first. Personally, for me, um, either or. They're really beautiful cards, honestly. For me, they're neck and neck. They're just beautiful cards we'll put them up here somewhere but those are the main uh, the main hitters that I personally say we do have as well the mechanic uh, what I'm drawing blanks but it's um, not, uh, the lost zone there we go I want I kept wanting to say lost this for some reason but we do have lost zone it is coming back in this set so there's like the guaranteeing is a lost zone one um, I think there is a let's see I had seen a couple. I have it pulled up right here beside me. We have um, Storm Joiners one, uh, Barbacol, Barbacel. That's another one. So there, there's a few. But before I do forget, we also do have Enamorous that's coming out in this set. I think this, if I remember correctly, this is the first card of it that's coming out. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure it is. So there's that. But yeah, with that said, guys, let's get into these packs real quick. So yeah, guys, we did get really lucky with this find as, you know, we didn't have any yet as of this morning, and now we have five. But let's crack right into them. Um, as always, guys, uh, normally I don't buy check lane blisters unless I'm going to keep it sealed, which normally I don't buy them uh, to keep sealed. There's a code card. Um, I'm pretty sure it won't work until the day of release, but... You can definitely try it out the promos we'll look at the first one the first one is the crow gunk there we go i'm all over the place it's quite nice there is a print line or some scratches you can see them right there in the corner over there but the one that i really liked out of the two for these is the score bunny um it has a dead end day back there and an arcanine no a growlith i think they're all left Oh, it's, yeah, Arcanine's the, the evolution of that one. Always mix them up, but let's see. There's a code card as well. Let me know if it works, actually. That one. But this one. This one right here is super nice. It just it has, what is it, the Cosmic Foil one, I think. But the Arcanine and the Dead End they are back there. It has a score bunny up front, leaving some flames actually. I just noticed that. But it's a, it's a nice card overall compared to, to the Crow Gunk. No if it's Crow Gunk. I actually like Crow Gunk better than Score Bunny, but the artwork on this one's a lot cooler. So that is that. So we're gonna set these we'll set these right here. We'll set one of each for now. Let's see. 
there's that. The pack work, I'm pretty sure you've already seen the pack work. Artwork, or the artwork for the pack. There we go. But let's crack all of these out. I'm actually kind of nervous, kind of excited, simply due to the fact that, you know, these have the potential to have some pretty crazy stuff, especially when it's new. Um, I think that that's probably one of the coolest times to pull something big is before it's even released. I mean, it's just, it's pretty cool. Because at that point in time, you know that not a whole lot of people do have it. There were pre-releases today, actually. Oh, almost, almost started cracking that one. Hey there. There were pre-releases today. Um, for those of y'all that are local or have been watching the channel for a little bit, there was a, sorry about that. There was a pre-release at Trainer J's and they they had theirs today at three, if I remember correctly. Um, trade night was last night. I'm a little bit tired. I don't know if you can tell, but Trade night was last night, so um, I live a good ways away. It's like a three hour drive for me, so I didn't go to it, or I didn't go back before the pre-release. If I would've been closer, I definitely would've, but I, just a little bit too far for me to drive it. But there's another one that was yesterday. So Saturday there was one um, in Fort Smith where I go normally to Sharp. I missed, no, 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 no. I think I'm wrong. I think that one was next Saturday. There was one in Archangel, which is in Benton. That one I missed. Um, I was hoping to make it, but we didn't make it to that one, unfortunately. And there's one coming up this Saturday, I believe, so I might make it to that one, possibly. Um, but yeah, so maybe we will get into a pre-release. I, I love playing in the pre-release tournaments, but we'll see. Uh, for now, we do have these. So let's crack into them. We, I think I've talked for quite enough. Let's see. So we're going to start out with their... The, almost the glamorous, the enamorous, pretty close to glamorous, I guess. But I'm just, I'm pretty pumped, guys. Uh, I'm, it's like a, currently it's a mixture between like super hyped and super tired and sleepy. Uh, Friday night going into Saturday night, I guess you could say, uh, or Friday morning, I only got uh, an hour and 30 minutes of sleep, so that was, that was really rough on the body for sure. But let's see, okay, so I, I was gonna say, let's see how the cards look um, right off the bat. We'll look at these so you can see a little bit of whitening on these already. So I wonder if that is going to be how all of them are or if it's just like the first, first couple ones. I don't know. But let's see guys. So bear with me. I don't know which ones are, are all in here. So there's a Dottler. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. We've got a Cedra. Let me get a little bit closer to this. Super cool. It's a Viper. That, uh, that's a nice artwork guy. Uh, is it Tomokasu? I think it's Tomokasu. I, I'm, I've been enjoying his artwork a lot. He, I think he's the same one that did the Magmar, if I remember correctly. Quote me if, don't quote me, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, he, he's been probably one of my favorites right now. This shop is really cool. It's tongue sticking out. I might have to paint this. That's really cool. Uh, we got some Shellos. Pursuing and growl lift. I'm going a little bit slower just because I, I I want you to see the artwork. I want to see the artwork, honestly. We got a ducklet. We got our first reverse hollow for the set. A Harry Her, Harayama. Harayama. I always I can never say this one, but Harayama. We're going with that. And then a Hoopa regular rare. Check it out. Super nice. There's that one. We'll set the reverse hollows as always to the side and the rares. So that was the first one. Let's see if we can't get lucky and pull at least one black coat, a black border coat. Normally with these, I don't have a whole lot of good luck. Um, I like the three, the three, uh, three pack blisters. Those I like, but we we didn't have any of those quite yet. So four from the back, guys. Let's see. While we're here, um, I know I mentioned. Trade night the other, um, a minute ago. Um, I'm working on that video as well, probably right after this. Definitely keep an eye out for it. It was super awesome. Super cool trades. I actually did a lot of trading, so definitely be on the lookout for that one. We got a Kol Komala, Komala, something like that. Sorry if you hear my dog in the background. Um, I can't pronounce that. Thor Thorton? 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 We're going with Thorton. We got a Bronzong. Check that out as well. 
I mean, looks like almost like Roman style architecture, maybe. I don't know. But very, uh, very blocky in the background. Uh, we got a horsey Meta Knight or Meta Knight. Another Shallows. Seeing some doubles. Mindfu, Menfu. We got a Litleo. A C dot reverse hollow. There we go. And then a, a Raichu. That's nice, Raichu. There he is. Looks like he's on a building or a skyscraper that's being built. Going at something. Definitely, definitely not in a good mood. Definitely looking a little aggravated there, but that Raichu is pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll pull him in the hollow eventually so we can add him to the binder. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's see, so we got our first black code. I, like I said, I don't think these work until the last, until or, until like the, the day or two after, or before uh, the set actually releases, but let's see if we don't get lucky and get, I'm, I'll be happy with it, be honestly. Uh, anything could be cool. We could also get a hollow. We got a Gastrodon, got an arc phone. Okay, uh, um, let's see what that actually says. Look at the top of your card. Look at the top card of your deck, you may switch that card with one of your face down prizes. Okay, so maybe like an old old school town map maybe? Town map? No, um, map town or town map. Used to be, I think you flipped them all upside down or back up and you could keep them away. But that one might probably see some play definitely. Um, there's a, there's like a supporter, I forget which one it is, but that one's not too good because you have to put stuff back. I mean, it's supporter so it takes your support turn your turn um, you know or your your supporter for that turn but we got a snow burn oh we had a bronze on too uh, or bronzer very interesting artwork another tomokasu actually that that makes sense we got a snow burn yeah i'm telling you it's, it almost looks like they're in like a roman to me anyways when i see art or structural stuff like that it looks like a roman style but i don't know we got a jinx right here that one looks pretty cool a lot of color in there. Inke, sounds pretty cool too. I cannot pronounce that, but he makes, he reminds me of the Tomokasu one, uh, as, uh, uh, Tomokasu style as well. He's pretty good, I like that one. I can't say this one, Skivot, Skivot, Skivot. Let me know how you say it, but check him out. Looks like he has some berries in his mouth. And we have a toolbox. Okay, look at the seven top seven of your deck. You may reveal it. any number of Pokemon card tools find there that you find there. Pretty much, put them into your hand, shuffle the other back into your deck. Interesting. And our last one looks like it's not a a uh, a B, but it is a Hollow Rare. So we have a Hydro Splash, and it's going to be a Kingdra Hollow. Check that out. That. That's actually pretty cool. Look at the little background and it looks great with the... Sorry guys. The background looks pretty great with the, with the hollow with it being like vertical. But pretty cool. There we go. We're going to set this one to the side as well since it's our first hollow of the set. Two more packs guys. Two more packs. Okay, let's see. We got another black code here. I can see it right off the bat. So that's exciting. That is exciting. There's another one. Got a V Star marker. I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's lining up to maybe be possibly a good one. I know when the first came out, people thought that they were like guaranteed to be a a hit, but that's not the case. So we got a Galarian Stuntfish here going into a box of disaster. I'm gonna go a little bit faster here, maybe. Uh, I'm still wanting to read them, but I'll just go back and read them since I'm Probably gonna look at them good and see if they're good for decks. We got Rock Rough, we got a Seal, got a Sui and Sora Rock. This one's pretty cool too. This one might actually make a great painting. Um, for those of you watching that haven't watched the previous trade night, um, I started doing paintings. So now every time I look at them, I'm like, what can I paint? We got another Snowburn, Machamp, we got a Galarian Stunfish, Hollow Rare. And we, ooh, ooh, guys, we, we, we got a V for sure. So let's see what it is. 
And our last one is Aerodactyl, Arid, I can not even say it, Aerodactyl V. Sweet. There is one, there's the first one. So now we just gotta get the, the full art and the alt art. So, but check it out guys. That is nice. Even the artwork on this one's actually pretty cool with the volcano in the back. You got a little path right here, jungle on either side. Aerodactyl looking mean as always. But there's that one guys. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty pumped. Let's see. Okay. Last one. Last one, guys. Let's see. Okay, so we got three black codes out of five. I'm going to call that just a really good overall. Um, normally, that's not the case for this, at least for me, in my, in my experience. Let's go with that. So, we have a darkness energy, a swan. Or a swan, swan, uh, or a swan, <laughs> I don't know, but I think that might be the first time I've seen this one in its artwork. Not, not in this one, but just overall. I know there probably is another one that I've just overlooked in different sets, but at least that I can think of in that game. Hariyama, Hariyama, a nuzzle leaf, or nuzzle leaf, snow burn again. Very, it looks like this one's gonna be one of those that's just a repeat offender that. Shows up everywhere. Got another Jinx here. Another Inke. Got a Skavot. <laughs> okay, this one, I think this one might be different. We got some Fall Links. Look, they're on a wall. Looking pretty cool. Looking like they're. This one looks like it's about to go into battle. The other one looks kind of boss looking. Okay, our reverse hollow is a Lampant. There we go. Check that out. So no trainer galleries for us on this one anyways. Hopefully down the road we'll hit some trainer galleries. But let's see. Oh, we got another, looks like we're gonna have another B. So let's see what it is. Our last one is a Tropian B. Check it out, let's see. That is pretty cool too. Background is not as crazy as the Aerodactyl. It's a little bit more simpler. You got some rolling hills back here. You got your sunset going and then it kind of goes into like the stars maybe but he's just kind of there not too impressed with this one honestly but I don't know what it does at least the artwork not the card overall let's see this Pokemon attack this Pokemon's attacks cost one less for each of your opponents single strike rapid strike fusion strike Pokemon in play okay so that's actually really good ability let's see the attack is dynamic tell this attack does 60 damage to one of your Pokemon don't apply wait what this attack does six oh no this attack also does 60 damage to one of your Pokemon and it hits for 90 uh, honestly to me it doesn't sound too good unless you can pair it up with something that you know attacks for more if it has damage on it maybe but that's our last one guys let me know what your thoughts were on the pools we got three out of five got some pro uh, not some promos yeah technically some promos it's an early pre-release so that's overall just pretty cool i'm pretty pumped i feel really lucky that i found them because i was like i said i wasn't intentionally looking for them just kind of stumbled upon them and i messaged my friends and i was like hey check this out but yeah guys i hope you have i hope you're having a great day have a great Sunday. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.